Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Talking about cloth diapers. Um, many of you might think I'm crazy, and that's okay. You can get in line with family members. My husband thought I was crazy, and I think I'm crazy still sometimes, but that's okay. Um, I became obsessed with cloth diapering about almost three years ago when me and my husband first got married. I read an article somewhere about people cloth diapering and I was like, wow, these people are really insane for wanting to cloth diaper. Like, why not just use regular diapers? And so I kind of had this interest into why people cloth diapered. So I was looking into what their reasons were and before I knew it, I was like, okay, I'm gonna cloth diaper. And so this is gonna be my little stash that I have. We do plan on using newborn disposable diapers until she's done pooping meconium because I just don't want to deal with the stickiness. And also I don't really know how I'm going to feel after giving birth to her. And I'm kind of afraid I won't be able to jump into cloth diapering that fast. But these are the items that I have so far. I did put cloth diapers on my registry and there were certain things that people bought us. There was one, um, it was a pack of six cloth diapers from a brand called Alba Baby. But these are the cute little prints that we got. This one has a little floral print on it. And then we have a pineapple print. I mean, like, how can you not want a cloth diaper when your baby will have this cute little print on her, on her little booty and so those ugly disposable diapers? Um, we have, these are lemons and they're all different colors. And then this has a little bear with a little bunny on it. And then this one has birds. I wanted to do fully um, covers and pre-folds. And so we went out and we bought covers. I have, let me see, I have my notes right here to let me, to remind me of how many of all of them so I won't have to show you every single one. We have nine Alva Baby covers and we got four in white and then we just got four in the white and chevron no five in the white and chevron and so these are just little covers so you could see they have little pockets to where you could put um whatever kind of fold you're doing with your pre-fold you can put the pre-fold in here and it has a bunch of little buttons so that you can determine the size and it has these little it's a double gusset so what that means is that it'll kind of hold tighter and that you shouldn't really have blowouts. Um, everything that I've read is that people don't have blowouts with cloth diapers and that to me is amazing and right there has me sold on cloth diapering all my children because I have definitely seen the outcome of blowouts and it doesn't seem fun. So we have nine of those covers and then we bought this from a lot. This is pre-used. We have two of these and they're the Thirsty size one. And I wanna say they're all in twos, but I'm not positive. If you are cloth diapering and you know, comment down below what kind it is, cause I'm not positive. Part of me wants to say a pocket cause it looks like I can shove another one in there. Cause I can like go like this and there's room to put more um, absorbency in there, but this is a newborn one. And so that's what it looks like. We have a green one and a blue one. And yeah, those are kind of like boy colors, but it doesn't really matter because she's going to be pooping in them. So I don't care what color they are. And then we have, let me see, I can't remember. We have five Romperoos newborn covers. And we have green. We have green one, a blue one, a brown one, a gray, and a polka dot one. And I love these ones. I really wanted these ones. Um, these are pre-used as well. Um, I wanted them because they have the Velcro on them. And that just seems amazing. And it also has the buttons on them. So that you can make them a little bit bigger if they're not... If they're able to be used bigger. Like if they're too tight on them. So they can kind of grow with them for a little bit. These also have the little double gussets. And you can like see how... how tight that is with that elastic it's going to keep you from having a blowout or a mess whatsoever you know we have five of those and then for pre-folds we have a couple different sizes these are all pre-used 10 preemie slash newborn i don't know what brand these are 
Well, we have 10 of them. And so I have 11 of the um, newborn. These are newborn, the orange color. And you can see how pleated it is. And it has been used, but that's fine. It just means it's already ready for absorbency. And then we have 20 of the, they're called newbie um, clothies ones. And I think these are organic. And these ones are, are um, regular cotton. You can kind of see the color difference in them. And then we have 12 small prefolds, clothies prefolds. And then we have, we have seven of this small, it looks like a small trim prefold. I don't know what brand these are, but these look like they're organic as well. And I can show you what it looks like to have them all up close onto one another, how all the different sizes do different things. So this haul of cloth diapers should hopefully last us until they're until she's potty trained. That's that is honestly the goal right there is to last us until she is fully potty trained. So as you can see, they're all different. We have five snappies that we were that we got pre-used and then we were gifted on our baby registry two um, travel size wet bags so that we can put the dirty diapers in when we're out and about and then we went ahead and bought two Pell liners um, so one is going to be in the bedroom by her changing station and then the other one is in a trash can by the toilet and we have a diaper sprayer and also a diaper shield and then the second travel size wet bag is is holding the diaper shield in there in the bathroom and I'll go ahead and show you guys what that looks like in the bathroom but yeah so down in the description I'll tell you guys our what our budget seemed like and how much we spent and how much everything was and what we were gifted again and where you can find all these products but I'll go ahead and show you guys what the bathroom looks like okay guys so here we are in the bathroom and this is going to be the spray pal that I was telling you about. It opens up and you just clip the diaper onto that little clip right there. And you spray off any of the poop. And it's going to go in that little wet bag. And then we have the diaper sprayer. And that is just connected down to the bottom of the toilet right there. And then right over here on this side is going to be the um, trash bag that we use. So we can go ahead and open that. And it already has the diaper pill in there. And we went with a closed one to hopefully contain the smell. Subscribe if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. I will be posting videos every Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And hopefully there will be a birth vlog coming up your way soon. So keep an eye out for that. Hit the little bell for the notifications so that you can make sure that you get that birth vlog. I know that's always super exciting to see. Those are my favorite vlogs to watch. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down below and I'll try to answer you as soon as possible. Bye!